Hey guys, I wanted to come in and do some vlogging um, just to break the monotony of the channel up. And you see that my, both of my hands are on the wheel and I'm able to see um, and drive safely. Now, before we get started, guys, can we make it a habit that especially my regulars, my, my first time watchers, hit that thumbs up button go ahead just just tap 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 hit it so hard that your phone just falls out your hand and i don't want you to break your phone and subscribe i don't i, I have the same people watching me and I, I i love that and i love the fact some people say when well, you're big enough that you get free stuff I mean that's cool, but I will I enjoy interacting with you guys, and that means more to me than the free stuff. I've been doing this since 2011, and I just I really really would love for you guys if if, if you're new here, subscribe. Trust me, I have sat down and come up with a plan for my channel, and some things are going to be cutesy and fun and reviews and sometimes we're going to get nitty down to the, the nitty gritty and some of you guys are going to love that and I think the majority of you guys are going to love that like for instance today I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to answer it first and I want you to really think about your answer you do not have to get pers real personal like what I'm telling you guys is one of the big there are several things that i have an issue with we're also going to do an anti-haul where we're going to talk about all the makeup that we thought that we would like and then we purchased it and got it home and was like not only is it not for us meaning for either brown skin or white skin or 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 or, or, or whatever it's just not for you you just didn't like it and everybody's on there like this Yes, I drink Slim Fast. Four hours. This will, if you just, girl, if y'all want to cut your appetite, because right now, I'm, I, I don't know what you call it that I'm doing. I'm, I'm on the uh, pills, um, and the, uh, the Garcinia pills and the vinegar twice a day. But I also, see, four hour hunger control. So, I also drink these, and then I drink about a, I drink this right after, and I just drank that this, so I gotta drink this right after, and it keeps me my water is really really coming down. And if you look in the video, I did not have a girdle on, and my shirt was kind of sitting out. My last video with the hair, and it looks like my stomach was rounded off, but for me, that's great because. You guys should have saw my stomach before. It was so bad, but it's not even that big. The shirt was kind of like, you know how you, how you sit down and your shirt kind of bubbles over your stomach? And I was looking at that like, I'm, I'm going to show y'all my, as a matter of fact, I am going to, because I don't have a scale at home because I go to the doctor so often. Um, I'm going to get a scale for at home. And I'm going to do something that most women would never do. And I'm going to going to get to a, uh, I'm going to purchase a scale and start really keeping a vlog. Y'all, you all know it won't be every week. Of and I'm going to be honest. I could care less if I if I gain pounds or if I lose them. I just want a realistic. I want somebody to really tell me the truth. Number one, don't go good. Don't go, don't go get a tummy tuck, or get some type of um, because that now here in Georgia you can get your tummy tuck. They won't put you to sleep. But what they'll do is they'll um do like a local or something, some type of anesthesia that up uh, for that part, and it's nine ninety nine. I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> if it wasn't for for all of my beliefs with everything that I've been through. I could never do that. Um, but I could see why some people do. 
And then they go on the gym and do a, a few squats and tell you that they lost all of And you're like, you only been working out for two weeks. How did you lose a hundred? What? And then if you, like, I have some good girlfriends and I don't judge them. But then they'll say, girl, let me tell you what I really did. That's how I found out about the place. Because one of my good girlfriends, but one, one of my friends, not one of my closest friends, one of my friends, um, she got it. And her stomach looks good. And they not only did they take out the fat, but they like pulled something together. She almost got like a little six pack going and her, her stomach was pudgy. Um, here's the question. And I already know who's going to participate. And I am so thankful. I, if there's a few people that now that I'm feeling better, there's, there, there's one person I know I have to send something out to. And I, I don't buy friends. It's not that. But it's just, I appreciate when you rock with me for so long. Here's the question. If you could change one thing about your personality, what would it be? I'm not talking about your looks. Because we could always change that with makeup and stuff. And nowadays, you could change anything. Your nose, your eyes. You, you could make them wider or smaller. Whatever. Um... And well, if you guys want to do looks, we could do looks. Because, I mean, we all want to change things about our looks. If I could change one thing about my personality, this is one thing that I do that irritates me. And I know it irritates people that I talk to. And all my friends, I know they're probably tapping the like button right now. When I'm having a conversation with someone, as hard as, as much as I'm listening... Sometimes my I don't realize it, but I have a, a, a really bad habit of cutting people off when they're talking. Or being like, yeah, girl, you are so right because I'm agreeing with you, but I'm cutting you off. And you didn't get a chance to finish what you were saying. Now, I don't cut you off and make it about me, but I'll just, just, just take the conversation. Off. And I hate that I do that. I do it to my husband. Sometimes he'll be talking, he'll just go... And I'll go, and he'll say, like, um, uh, B-I-N-G. And I'll be like, yup, because, oh, my God, you are so right. He, yup, he had a bone before he could finish. And my husband goes, never mind. And I'm like, I am so sorry. And it's like, it's not like I do it out of selfishness. It's like, it's something that. I, I'm a middle child, and when I was younger, I'm sorry. If I didn't get in there, and I think that's why I'm so assertive, I'm not shy, I'm not afraid to tell you how I feel, um, I'm not afraid of confrontation. Now, when I say that, I'm not going to be like, hey, let me holler at you for a minute. My confrontation, when I say that, I'm not afraid to say, can we talk? Remember last week when I when, when we discussed on so and so and you said X, Y, and Z. Well, that's not what you did. And then you repeated it. And then da da da. Or yes, you did say that. And you're saying you didn't say it. Do you understand? Like I'm not afraid of that. Um, some people are so afraid of confrontation. Or case in point, I was in the store and someone jumped in front of me in a line. I couldn't believe it. It was a long line. They just politely, it wasn't even like a line that been. And he couldn't tell that him and his family was cutting me in line. I'm from Philly. It was a long, straight line. I had to clutch my invisible pearls and look around and say, is he disrespecting me like that? Immediately. I don't care when. I took a breath. Sir, excuse me. He said, hmm? Mm hmm I said, you jumped me in line. I know the line is long. I said nothing else. I just moved my body in front of him. I let the lady know that worked there, the manager, because people are crazy. I said, I was here in line. And the thing is, is that I'm on a schedule for taking certain medications. I could, I was already like, 
I have to get home. So I, it wasn't even like I was doing it to make a point. I needed to get home. So I come around him and I'm like, and she's like, oh, and I tell her, I'm like, I was in line and I just come in front of him and I start putting my stuff down. And he's like, oh my God. And I'm like, did you, ex Never mind. And I did start to say something, but he wasn't, I'm not going to say he wasn't worth it. He might have wanted the confrontation. And I, I'm i not afraid. You're not going to walk all, all, you're not going to walk over me or my kids or my husband in my presence. I will do it as peaceful as possible. And I am not passive aggressive. I will just peacefully stand up for myself. Not pass, not, not, I won't do it in a passive way. You'll know that I'm standing up for myself, but I'm not rowdy and I won't come out of character. And I noticed that a lot of people would like to see people like me come out of character. Since I, I learned that early in life, and my mom, she had me read so many different, so many books on psychology when I was like six, seven, and eight, that I kind of understand. I think I, you know, I probably should have went into that. I understand sometimes others, but not myself. Like, why can't I stop cutting people off? Not in line, but in conversation. You know, I'm so excited about the conversation sometimes that I'll just be like, yeah, because, and that's, that's really rude. So, I've shared with you, share with me. What would you like to change? You don't got to tell me your deepest, darkest secret. You don't got to tell me you can't, that you can't stand your mom. Don't go there <laughs> unless you want to. <laughs> no, but um, let's talk, okay? Listen, until next time, guys, I got lipstick on my teeth. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm running low. I have no gas and it's too hot. So, let me cut my car from at the gas station. Have a great day. Have a, a good day today and an even better day tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.